Spark and Fizz here with the knockups. Uh, if you guys just want to go down the catch. Sure. Um, I'm Kat and I play bass. Gretchen and I play guitar and sing. Uh, Dan play drums. <laughs> And you're also a professor in addition to being a punk rocker? I am. I teach at the Boston Conservatory and I teach at Cambridge College as well. Um, so I teach writing, uh, poetry when I'm lucky, and research writing courses. So, Are there any other punk rock professors there or is it, <laughs> is it hard to tell when you're there? No, it's, it's pretty easy to tell. <laughs> you were on stage with you 2 in the recent past. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, so, uh, I've been a U2 fan since I was 12. Um, and I, over the years, have had the pleasure of meeting Bono. One time I sang to him and I said, can I come up and sing tonight? And I said, I can really sing. And he said, I can hear that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so... Over the years, it's like kind of like a running joke. So um, when they were going in for sound check this time, I gave them a knockups CD and a T-shirt. I said, "Can I play a guitar tonight?" And he said, "What is your name?" Like, like I'm like, mm -hmm, yeah. Because he signed things. For <laughs> You're me. the one who sings at me. <laughs> yeah, I said Gretchen, and he goes, and he tilted his head. He goes, "Well, Gretchen, you never know how these things will turn out." So I see Gretchen get up, but what freaked me out was when. First thing she's like, I'm Gretchen from the knockups. Yeah. <laughs> what is your name? Gretchen. Gretchen. From the knockups. The knockups is your band. Yeah. Has anyone um, found your way or found their way to your music because of that? Oh my, yeah. <laughs> we like shot up 151 likes on this <laughs> No way. And as well as that, I sold out of our shirts and just recently like had to reorder I had somebody in California like it's a dollar to buy the EP because you know just you don't want to be like you don't want to be a jerk so it's like a dollar to buy three songs mm -hmm. and this or like pay what you want and this guy gave us fifty dollars wow and he came here mm -hmm. and recently and was like oh do you guys have a show and I was like we don't um because he was on business and I said but you can come to a practice and he came to a practice. Oh, cool. And he just hung out, and we gave him a beer, and we played him the set. I hope we might blast you. Blast us. Are you guys yeah, going to get blasted? Yeah, blast away. Okay. <laughs> we'll... we'll...
so the next thing is a, is a seven inch, is that right? Yeah, we're actually getting it mastered right now um, by David Locke in JP. So. Oh, here's a question. Do you see the knockups as a political band? Oh, that is a good question. Um, I do. I do. And we'll I, say if so. What does that mean? If so, um, so like I, I may have have mentioned ad nauseum for these two. They're like ah again, but um, the rants here it comes. Here it comes. Let's do it. So um, as a woman in music, um, I've been playing. You know, I was playing bass at fifteen, thanks to my wonderful godfather. Johnny Earthquake. Who's a pirate who plays <laughs> surf and country punk. Who, who bought me a silver tone and just taught me and just was like, I was like, I want to learn Haunted by the Pogues. And he's like, okay, let's learn it. So I'm like, I want to learn Never Mind the Bollocks. And like, this is how, you know what I mean? So I've been playing music a long, long time. And just every time I would, I would try to be in a band and be taken seriously with other bands, it was always all male you know what I mean it was always like the girl and like I just never wanted to be seen that way as like just the girl and so um this band sort of came about when my former bass player and I um said let's just do a band you know where women completely ruling the roost and you know flipping things over and so I wrote the song knock you up as a sort of a joke like a parody um, just about what happens to a woman when she has a dream and you know she moves to a big city and everybody tells her you're gonna be a big big star and the man that she trusts gets her pregnant and so there goes her music career down the tubes so um, yeah yes quite, quite literally so the message you know of course Sorry, to, that's that's okay. the message <laughs> the message to young girls is you know to not get swept away and keep yeah. true to your dream and true to your cause and and play music and don't fall for the guy in the band don't do it you know Dan <laughs> wow, <nobody> falls. <laughs> um, so then like out of that song sort of came like shut up and put your dress yeah. on which was um, we were rehearsing for L7 at the time we were doing an L7 show and so um, that song just sort of evolved from the learning of the L7 songs and um, I just wanted to write something that was about just taking the idea of gender constructs and flipping them um, in terms of, you know, the, most people think shut up and put your dress on is the man talking to the woman, but really it's the woman talking to the man. Like, okay, you think you're so big and you're so, you know, hot, you shut up and you put the dress on because I'm going to be in charge and I'm going to be the boss, you know? So it's like a role reversal yeah. um, so that women don't always have to feel like, you know, demure and, you know, they can't be the boss. Can we maybe close with everyone's, like, worst show memory? No. Ah. <laughs> oh, 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 I can't. Oh, this is very good. I don't even I'm thinking Gretchen that, knows what it is. I, I'm thinking it's no, the I mean, one at the, so Middle East, like, the Middle East upstairs. Well, no, when he's actually, like, no, 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 I don't know, listen to him. What was it? Well, well no, I was in a band with like, you know, was, <laughs> I'm not mentioning names, but there was a band yeah. that I was in, the guy with the serious cocaine problem, who would, like, before a show, like, we'd be, get, you know, before a show, sometimes you go back to space, you get your equipment, and blah, blah, blah. So we were going back to the space, well, we were at the space and we were loading our equipment and we saw him there and he was like with some friends up, like he would always have these squirrely kind of friends. Come showtime, he like, the shades go on, he like oh, put the shades oh, on, he yeah. had these like aviator shades, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> like he whispers to me like, I'm just going to do this like feedback thing, just oh. go with it. <laughs> <laughs> just like, go with it, just go with it. Just, oh, just go with it, and like, I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. And then he's like, then I'll just like go into this song, whatever. But then, like, he got on stage, and then there's, he's like, next thing you know, he's like, hey, hey, he's like getting into a thing, like, eh. and then I kind of see people go, do, 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 filing out. And yeah. Then, and, but then I'm like playing, all of a sudden, my bass drum pedal, this was my own thing, just slides away. Oh. <laughs> and I'm playing, no. and he's like, He's just like, yeah, and it was just bad. And I could see people outside like smoking cigarettes. 
all the people who were in the club. Right. <laughs> Just did he say, I am the Lizard King? <laughs> we did this recording, and he showed up one day with a riding helmet. <laughs> and, like, he was, like, like a legit, like, English riding helmet. <laughs> like, with the, the you know. The the oh, my God, eat. I love this guy. And then he was, like, <laughs> <laughs> but he's, like, come here. He's, like, all those guys suck. You and me. You and me. <laughs> like, dude, we're in the middle of a recording. He's, like. <laughs> you and me. But it was always like these things, and these fantasies. <laughs> like, it's the journey, you know. You go from your basement playing Chuck Berry with your friend and your mom flicking the lights to the guy like swallowing coke. Yeah. To hear it on the <laughs> to couch. Hear, yeah. <laughs> For the world's most famous music ball. And then they no, I'm like yeah. actually... I didn't want to interrupt to clarify my, that, but yeah, I was like... My equestrian days, I might actually still have my own riding home.